Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to Foundation 1 Funky Fingers. Today's learning objective is learners will be able to develop their fine motor skills through reinforcement of scissor cutting activities. Are you all ready to cut around some pictures and shapes and do some fine motor skills? Let's watch this video now and learn more about it. I am Mimi the artist and today I'm going to give you a lesson on how to use scissors. You may think you know how to use scissors but there's always a few tips that will make things easier. Here I have two different types. One I call school scissors because they're nice and easy and kind of safe to use. You still could cut something by mistake if you're not careful. Notice there's a larger section here for your two or three fingers depending on how comfortable you are using them. And the top section is for your thumb. This type has equal size spaces and you can put a finger and a thumb in like this. And I believe these are made for if you're right handed or left handed. Mimi's left handed but because when I was growing up all the left handed scissors were kind of clunky not as nice as this. I taught myself how to use my right hand when I was cutting and it does it makes it easier now because no matter what kind of scissors I have to pick up they're ready for my hand and it leaves my left hand ready to draw. So let's get going. First of all I'm going to draw a circle and tiny circle medium and tiny and I want to give you a tip when you cut you want to go little cuts not big ones like this and you must be wondering why why would I want to do little cuts big cuts only cut straight lines little cuts you can go around the curves think about it like a fish in the ocean big cuts Think about a shark, maybe it goes chomp, chomp, chomp. The little cuts nibble, nibble, nibble like a little goldfish. So let's try this out. If I went chomp, 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 notice I'm not getting too close to all my lines on my circle. It's a nice little shape, but boy, oh boy, does it look like the circle I wanted it to. If I had gone nibble, 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 I could have followed my crayon line perfectly. If I wanted to go chomp, chomp, it'd be very difficult. Again, nibble, nibble, nibble. Another tip. Do you notice my scissors are staying one spot? I twist the paper I'm cutting, not the scissors. I don't go all over the place with the scissors. They stay in one spot and I use the hand that's holding the paper and I twist the paper around as I nibble nibble nibble. Nice and simple. So the hand that's holding the paper is actually doing more work than the scissor cutting hand. Now here I'll neaten it up with the little nibble cuts and ta-da! So that's enough for this quick little lesson.
It's reflection time. Now you can take the worksheet attached along with this link and practice your scissor cutting skills by cutting on the lines printed on the sheet using a safety scissor. Don't forget to take a photograph or video of that and share it with your teacher in MS Teams. Bye-bye, everyone. Hope you have a nice day. See you soon.